What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at a way to uh, cool your laptop now if you have a gaming laptop or you do a lot of rendering and stuff like that with your laptop then using a product like this which is the Opla laptop cooler can really help cool down your laptop and give you better performance and also stop any sort of overeating issues and maybe hardware failure at a later date if the laptop gets too hot now you can see here thermal throttling will start to kick in once the laptop gets to a really certain temperature and this uh, Opla laptop cooler can keep this laptop in a nice safe zone and I'll show you how it works in this video so you can see here this is what you're going to get inside the box you're going to get your user manual this is going to help you set up your cooler and it's pretty straightforward there is no uh, need to strip the laptop down or anything like that it fits on the outside of your exhaust fan of your laptop you can see here it's got color pictures and English text in here makes it very simple and easy to do I'll show you all the process it's very straightforward and easy to do but if you want to get a cooler laptop then something like this really does help as you'll see in this video you see there a picture of the actual cooler I'll show in a second and it does have this little rubber sort of um, enclosure on the end there which will uh, close up the area where the air releases from the laptop and it will go straight through this fan which will draw the hot air out these are the uh, rubber grommets that will uh, stop the air from escaping and it will make it go through uh, the actual cooler itself which will spin up and uh, really cool down the system you can change the speed of the cooler as well if you want to I'm just going to ramp it right up to the top speed so you see here we also have a USB cable which is to power the actual cooler itself as well and we have uh, some mounting brackets here now we have a permanent fixture on the left and on the right we have the suction cup version which is more of a temporary method which is the one I'm going to be using uh, so it's entirely up to you which one you use but if you want to fix it onto the laptop more permanently you can do with 3M tape and using that uh, bracket system there so this is the actual cooler itself it's a nice little design here as you can see this is the actual uh, cooler very small and uh, here we have some plus and minus buttons here this is to turn the fan speed up and down and also we have the power button it does have an LCD uh, display on here as well which will give you the temperatures and uh, it is a it is a noisy fan obviously because it's going to be more powerful and this is where the uh, air is going to be extracted out of and you can see it's a much bigger opening here and it's going to allow a lot more uh, or air to be drawn out of the laptop and pulled out of this area here which is where the hot air will be extracted from and there's a little chamber in there and it pulls it through so this is what this fan is uh, designed to do is designed to basically suck air through the laptop here and pull it out of the extractor fan here quickly show you here on the side this is the extractor area here and you'll normally feel a uh, hot air coming out of this end of the laptop once the uh, temperature starts to get a bit more toasty so this will fit on the side here with that rubber grommet and basically uh, you fit this into the location and uh, what this will do is make a nice tight air seal and draw the air through the fan system here and uh, pull it out and this will obviously the quicker we can get the hot air out of the laptop the cooler the temperatures will be inside and this is what it's designed to do now obviously the fan inside the laptop is there to do a job as well but sometimes they're just not uh, good enough to uh, extract the air quick enough and something like this does actually work it's not just a gimmick so I've chosen the uh, grommet here which I'm going to be using and I'm just going to put this onto the unit itself it just goes around this little lip here it's a bit fiddly but it's not too difficult to do and uh, once we've done this this will then uh, allow us to put on the bottom bracket which will then tighten up against the actual unit itself you can see it's on there now and what this is designed to do is to stop any air being lost around the edge you can see there's a tight seal here and this will push up against the extractor fan on uh, the side of the laptop here which will then suck uh, the air out a lot quicker uh, because it's a much more faster fan inside here you've got these little um, legs here these will sit on top of the laptop itself and there's a little button here which is what this fits for which will slot into place and it holds the 
uh, bracket system into position here. Now you can use a more uh, more rigid fixture like this which has got some 3M tape on it and this is more of a permanent fixture. I prefer to use this one here as it means I can take it off when I finish with it and uh, it just, just slots into place here. Just need to uh, get it into position and click it into position. There we go, the button should pop up and there we go, that's all in there and we're ready to go. So I just want to point out here a quick tip for you. Uh, it's no good using something like this device if your laptop is uh, full of dust and it's got dust bunnies in here. Don't ever put a compressed air inside here and spray into the actual laptop itself. You will need to strip it down and make sure the GPU and CPU has got good thermal compound on there and also the thermal pads have all been changed to get better performance for your cooling. And you can see here on the test here, I'm doing a stress test with the without the Opula laptop cooler so it's not on there at the moment. You can see we've got maximum temperatures of 97 Celsius and it was climbing. And this is pretty normal. It will fluctuate between 95 and 97. It will keep going up and down. Uh, but normally uh, the thermal throttling will kick in and uh, you will start losing performance and the temperature will start to rise. Now you can see here how I've got the fan system connected. Now you'll see here there is a nice tight seal with the uh, rubber grommet we've got on there and that's to make sure the air is forced through the Opula laptop cooler and this will then suck the air out and I've got it on full speed and it does kick up a bit of a, uh, a noise but it's worth doing if you're going to get those temperatures dropped so make sure you've got a nice tight seal here you've got that um, nice uh, LED display here or LCD uh, display which will tell you the temperature and you can already see once I start uh, cranking it up the fan and I'll turn it up, you can see that the temperatures are already starting to come down. I never stopped the um, test, I just put it on while the test was still running and you can see already the temperatures are starting to drop to 87, 86, 84 and uh, they're going down all time so that's good. And I leave this running for a bit because obviously it's got to get rid of the hot air inside of the laptop which takes takes a bit of time you've got 82 celsius it dropped down to there so already we've dropped down 10 uh, degrees celsius on that laptop and uh, i've got it full speed and it's going to take a bit of time before it drops down let's see if we can get it into the 70s there we go into the 79 celsius 77 uh, Celsius there back up to 81 and it will fluctuate like that a little bit it will go up and down and uh, we'll give it time to get down you can see now it's the CPU starting to drop off 80 Celsius and the package is now dropping down to 70 uh, 78 79 76 so the fan is doing its job and it's starting to draw all the hot air out of that laptop and that's exactly what it's designed to do. So if you're gaming for long periods, you're not going to be getting into the 90s anymore. You're going to be uh, dropping into the 70s, as you can see here. And now the important part of this is um, over the course of time, you can see here 76 uh, and 77. It's fluctuating now. The good thing with this fan cooler is that basically it's going to save your hardware. Um, and you can see the drop off since we've put the fan on. There's been a massive big drop off here. And of course this is a stress test which means there's no game out there that is going to stress test your system as much as this uh, stress test that I'm running here. So this is an extreme example of how this fan works and it shows you the benefits of this particular type of fan on a laptop. And you can see now we're 76 all the way through and that's pretty good. And it's starting to stabilize now. So I'm happy with those results. And I think it dropped down to 74 there. You can see 74, 75 and 76. That's so fluctuating between 74 and 76 now. So it's starting to do its thing. 74 again, which is pretty good. Now remember we was up to 97 and we're now coming down to 74, which is a massive difference in cooling just by having that optular uh, laptop cooler on the side of your fan. And yes, it is a bit noisy, uh, but if you're gaming and you want to get a cooler 
um, processor and a cooler uh, GPU then this is a really good option for you especially if you've got a really expensive laptop and you want to preserve the life of that laptop then something like this is going to be useful you can see the drop off here with the fan on and without the fan it was just continually climbing and it would have probably got right up into the 100 probably uh, if I'd have let it carry on there so pretty impressed with that and uh, 73 I think that just dropped to on the last legs there and now this is uh, with the stress test off and I've still got the fan running and you can see it's now starting to drop down so let's stop the stress test here and you can see the temperatures are now starting to drop down and uh, with it idle and the Opula laptop cooler is on there the temperatures drop down to 41 to 42 Celsius around that sort of figure now also without the Opula laptop cooler on there when it's idle the temperatures were around about 50 odd so we've dropped uh, probably 10 or so Celsius as well when it's idle which is pretty good going for a little tiny fan like this so if you are in the market for one of these I will leave the link in the video description for you uh, they're pretty awesome but you may want to hear the sound of it and I'll just play some sound of the fan I'll just give you a little sound test so you can hear the fan it does kick up quite a bit anyway that's about it for this video uh, I'm pretty impressed with the results of this cooler um, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as this um, but to be honest it's done a pretty good job at cooling the laptop down now obviously this is not a high-end gaming laptop this is an i5 laptop with uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, but some of the more high-end stuff it will work very well on those laptops it doesn't matter what brand of laptop it is it should fit your laptop uh, but check their website for more details I'll leave the link in the video description and I hope this one's been helpful it has took a bit of time to do but I just wanted to make sure that we got the right results uh, and the right um, uh, information for you guys anyway my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos